These niggas talking out of their necks. Put no coughing out of your mouth. I'm way too paranoid for it. Remember what Ye said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember what Ye said? He said, oh, like, you know, when he, when I think he hopped on the remix, he's like, oh, all of us were were, were just, like, so energised by the elimination <laughs> of drink. You understand what I'm saying? Like, Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drugs, drugs nigga. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> At this moment in time, Drake felt that, like, he had, he had the upper hand. <laughs> Dear Sandra, your son got some habits, I hope you don't undermine them. Well, that was so soulful. How'd you fit again? How they gotta have a kid again for you think of driving any shit again? Even when you do drop, they go. Can't lie, Drake slid on that, bro. Mm -hmm. I can't lie. For yeah. me, he slid on that. Oh, everyone's saying hope everyone's well hope yeah. everyone's doing good man obviously we're here since man what you saying you yeah good? we're here man we're here man Are you good kev what you saying man we're good man cool this <laughs> literally coming off potentially the greatest hip-hop battle of all time yeah. do you understand with two of the what would i say these two are heavyweights yeah, yeah. These, they're, they're, they're heavyweights but they're more than heavyweights i'm just trying yeah. to co contextualize where they sit in hip hop history, but these are two of the giants. Mm, yeah, you understand? Yeah. Two of the greatest hip hop rap artists we've ever seen. Whatever side of the fence you sit on, you know, um, these are two of the the heavyweights. Do you understand? Yeah. They will go down in history, both of them. If you've been living in the hyperbolic time chamber for the last two months <laughs> or for the last month and a half, then you know, I mean, what have you been missing? Um, obviously, I'm referring to. The Kendrick Lamar and Drake beef, um, man, it was a it was a great battle. Do you understand? It was a great battle. We just wanted to obviously just make this video just to recap on the beef. Do you understand? Now that the now that the things over and done with, I don't anticipate either Drake or Kendrick coming out with another diss record. Do you understand? Yeah. And even if you know one of them did, I think we can safely say that it's pretty much done now, isn't it? Yeah. Obviously, before we get into the video i'm gonna need everyone to like comment and subscribe you already know what it is that's it um and yeah man let's get into it night this whole beef was like that do you understand which was on future and metro Boomin's album now when this track first came out i i don't know man that timeline went into an absolute Crazy. frenzy because no one expected kendrick to first be on this record and Number two, to to basically, you understand, send for not only Drake, but he also had a little stab at J. Cole. You yeah, understand? Yeah, so yeah. It, it came as a huge surprise because we haven't really seen Kendrick since he released his... Uh, his Mr. Morale. Mr. Morale, the big steppers. He's been very quiet. I don't even think he's been he's been on any features. You understand? Yeah, like, yeah. So he's, been, he's, been, he's been quiet for, for a good two it's years now. Two years, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 So what also made this record a moment is the fact that like I don't know if you know this guys but on this album all the features were hidden yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah so nobody expected so no, yeah, yeah. you understand like Kendrick to be on this he absolutely murdered his verse and uh, yeah obviously we're just gonna play it because this is what really ignited this whole beef man you know what I'm saying these niggas talking out of their necks put no coughing out of your mouth I'm way too paranoid for it hey let's get it bro D.O.T. the money power respect the last one is better say there's a lot of goofies for the check I mean uh but me and my polar are too bad okay let's get it up it's tough for him to prove that he's a problem niggas clicking up but cannot be legit no 40 water tell him uh with me fuck sneak this in first person shooter I hope they came with three switches I crash out like fuck rap this let him know if I had to got two T's that was like that off of the we don't trust you album See, this kind of it kind of just shocked me because, first and foremost, I didn't know that Future and, and Drake kind of had a little 
Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was surprising. That was surprising, that was surprising yeah. because obviously, you know, they, they collaborated like a, a million of, times, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, 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 yeah. So this was new to me, innit? Like, yeah. um, just in terms of like the issues that they were having behind the scenes. I already know that Metro and Drake didn't see eye to eye. Yeah. So that didn't surprise me. Kendrick went for the absolute kill. Like, like yeah. he said in one of the verses, fuck, sneak this and I'm coming to you direct. You understand? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And obviously the first I person, respect that. I, respect I respected that. the first person shoot a reference. Obviously, you know, the, the track that Drake and, and J. Cole kind of collaborated on. And apparently now, uh, it's come out that Kendrick was actually supposed to be on that record. Oh really? Oh, was he? Yeah, 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 yeah. But oh, he declined. Man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he declined. He declined it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So bad, bad, I bad, think bad. I think Kendrick felt some type of way when he saw you know J Cole and Drake. That adds a lot of weight. Yeah, and I think. Hold on, was it was it not supposed to be them three on it? It was meant to be them three. That would, ooh, imagine if he actually dissed them three on that record. Yeah. That would have been amazing. But it would have come out. I don't think it would have come out. Yeah, it would have dropped. It would have dropped. It would have dropped. But anyway, you said it would have dropped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, this is K dot for me, man. This is yeah. This takes me back to K dot. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, and I love his rawness because lyrically, Kendrick, you know, he's cold. He's so cold. One of the greatest. One of the greatest. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just glad how Kendrick came on this record at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He basically said, "Fuck all the buddy buddy shit." You understand? I'm here to cause chaos. You understand? I'm here to cause chaos. And I think hip hop needed this. Do you know what I mean? Because. Yeah, for a long time, man, things were just lackluster in hip hop, like you know, and uh, yeah, Kendrick brought the sport of hip hop like back in just in terms of like yeah, you know I it being so. a sport, yeah, you know, like you know battling, you understand, like going toe to toe with one another. And just in terms of like I said, this record and and I mean I think like that he was going more at Drake than Drake. Yeah, 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 for sure, for more, sure, for sure. Yeah, because I I just feel like for a long time the Drake. The Drake and, and, and Kendrick sort of um, tension has been building. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's yes. been building. It's been it's building. apparently since 2014. Yeah, yeah, yeah know, bro. It's been since, I think since Kendrick dropped the control. Yeah, in, yeah, in yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because the, yeah, yeah. the And saying. then there's been, a, there's been a few sneak disses, jabs here yeah. and there from either 100%. party. So this has been brewing in it. So I feel like at this point, Kendrick's like, fuck it, bro. I'm coming for your neck in it now. See, this was him just saying, all right, Drake. I'm ready for war now, innit? It's time, innit? Like, for all of that other shit, it's time. And he's being direct. That's it. He's being, for all the dogs reference, do you understand? And like, the best way to do it, to do it with his ops. Yes. He doesn't see eye to eye on the truth. Yes, I mean, yes. Future and him have a beef. It's fantastic. Yes, and yes. And the beat of the beat is marvellous as well. Yeah. Bro, can you imagine how they come together to make this song, fam? Bro, <laughs> can you imagine that? <laughs> They're like, scene, yo, man. you man, fuck this nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> remember, 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 yeah. remember what Ye said? Remember what Ye said? Remember what Ye said? He said, oh, like, you know, when he when I think he hopped on the remix, it's like, oh, all of us were 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 just like so energized by the elimination of Drake. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, you know, we were so energized by the elimination of Drake, bro. Like, can you imagine all of them in the But I ain't crazy. Like, yeah, bro. You know what it is, yeah? You know what it is? I don't like Drake in it, but I can just imagine man waking up in the morning. Yeah, like, what the fuck is this, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But man was supposed to be on vacation, you know what I'm trying to say? Oh, man was supposed to be taking a break, and now he's got to do with the this. The whole industry, bro. Yeah. The whole industry trying to take me down, yeah. bro. Man, it was just a little, like, a warning shot in it, you yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah. Of what's to come, and, and, and yeah, man. Drake like, was I, like, you know, too shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step into the Yeah, I'm gonna engage. And so did J. Cole as well. And so, for one song. Do you know what I mean? For one song, <laughs> and then he backed out. And which, he deleted it later. Yeah, yeah. Which is another which, 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 which is probably, he probably made the right decision, because obviously we've seen where the beef has gone, and, you know, yeah. Like, in like, hindsight, it made sense. In hindsight, sense. it made sense, yeah. At Even the time, though, I would have loved for J. Cole to step in the ring, <laughs> you know, but yeah, he just didn't have the heart for it. Exactly, right. exactly. Yeah. But it's obviously from this year, from like that, it took Drake about two or three weeks to respond, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I mean, during this time, like people were just like, where's Drake? You're like, why is he not responding? You know, um, why is he taking long? But I think obviously we need to provide some context. I think at the time that this dropped, Drake was on tour. Yeah. So in fairness to him, obviously, if you're on tour, you're going to be focusing on the tour. Oh, yeah. So you understand? Yeah. Years ago, we were giving artists like months. Nas months, and Jay-Z exactly. had a couple of months. But bro, you know what it is? But now we're the we're the social media area. We're in the social media area. People just want things now. Do you understand? It's so like, when you feel that pressure... And they yeah. penalise you as well. Of oh, you took two do. months to respond. Of course they do. Yeah. 100%. He came back about three weeks later with, with push-ups. You yeah. know what I mean? And um, yeah, man. Let's just take a listen to it still. I could never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the head maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You will never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? This baby, hope you red, you can sugar up. This top, so you drop and give me 50 likes of push-ups. Cool, your last one.
a brick. You really not on shit. They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Pull your contract because we got to see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. But you better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Smithies. Top say drop, you better drop and give them 50. Drums, nigga. <laughs> Obviously, that was push ups in it. And I remember, like, this kind of first leaked. So, people were saying online, or, con or people were debating online if this, was, if this was AI. With a different beat as well. Yeah, with a different beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With a different beat. With so, a two pack beat. Yeah, know? exactly. So, at first, when this, when this dropped here yeah, and, and people realized that it was a leak, people weren't sure if it was Drizzy in it. Mm -hmm. You understand? But then he, he kind of confirmed via academics that it actually was him. You know what I'm saying? Um, he ended up dropping a different version on DSPs yeah. later on. He he definitely does does deserve a little bit of flack for the way he dropped it though. Yes. Trying to test it out in the yes. market like that. You know? But that's yeah. what I'm gonna come out with. And this, <laughs> is, this is what I was gonna say because I felt like it was more of a, a little cheat say in a, in a way of test it, see what the market yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, you know what? They like it. I'll let me throw it in with a different beat. And, and, and that's the new cheap, era that we're man. living in as well. It's Do you true, get bro. me? That, that, you can, that you can that you can, put it out and be like, oh, this is an AI beat and then see what happened. Because the same thing, ha same thing almost happened with Kendrick, but it didn't happen. But it was someone actually else that, yeah. that, that trying to put out, say that this was actually a Kendrick response to the push-up song. But it's actually, they just made a whole AI song. song Do you exactly. get me? So yeah. it's really interesting the way the hip-hop beats are like, morphing and changing in this yeah. day and age yeah yeah keep it real like from my perspective this was a good comeback yeah you know, it, was. it was a good comeback yeah, like yeah, yeah, right. yeah i mean there's, there's, there's not really feeling too tough here but yeah, i mean I, I i think obviously I, I love the beat you understand i love obviously um um drake's flow in it you understand like he writes the beat really well but the bars were were i did I, go on go on yeah like <laughs> Like I said, he was flowing in it, but, but some it of wasn't the bars, lyrical though. Yeah, it? some of the bars were like a bit, a bit <laughs> mid. I uh, you know, like. I find for me personally, I find the bobs obviously uh, kind of funny, but him, you know, being sat seven and being big steppers, yeah. like that's quite funny as well. But um, he's not giving he, lyrical he, he, You know, what he is his biggest, his biggest catch line. He's basically saying is that yo. You are signed to Top Dog, yeah, yeah, and you are in this, you. yeah, extorting you, and you're in this label deal that uh, essentially you're not even making much money, and then you are forced to do all of these songs yeah. to get chart success and to make some money. And, and but you're you're signed to fucking Young Money. Yeah. Do you know how exploitative Cash Money, a Cash Money was yeah. to Weezy? Exactly. Like them man was signed on tree upon tree upon tree upon tree. Yeah, man, umbrellas, umbrellas. Yeah, umbrellas well, so like, so it's on, like man. what? It's like I, I mean, push a push a send it on the story I yeah, done. Yeah. Something about like the the um when baby devised the pie. The yeah, 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 yeah. Different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One hundred percent. So, so, so like, funny lines there though. So, yeah, there yeah. was some funny lines. Actually, yeah. lyrically, it wasn't the best in that sense. But once again, it's a rap battle as well. So you're really trying to it's hit for the juggler, aren't you? In a sense. Yeah. So, yeah. I hear him, and it was right. You know, yeah, I, I, yeah. I feel like it's a nice little comeback. Yeah, you know, obviously the Ricky, the Ricky shots cool. Yeah, like, that was cool. Saying. Later around that down the line, we kind of found this out. But the one mistake that he made was mentioning. Oh Vinny. yeah, 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 yeah. And this is the same mistake he made in his Bible pusher when he mentioned Virginia. Okay. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Right. When you take it there. Yeah. yeah, but he always chooses to take it there. He always he chooses to take it there, and he learns his lesson afterwards. You know what I'm saying? And I love it because Kenshin didn't mention. <laughs> obviously, it's a rap battle, isn't it? Do you understand that? Like, you know, sometimes shit can get deep in it, and family members or kids yeah, can get yeah, involved yeah. or personal shit. I hear that, but Drake is always the first to mention somebody. Is Have you realized true? it? Yeah, yeah, even yeah. I remember even during the beef with Meek Mill. He mentioned Nicki Minaj, remember? What did he say about Nicki? He said something he about how it's, 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 it's not your tour, it's, it's, it's your it's girl's, girl's tour. tour. Yeah, something like that, bro. Yeah. That so he has a habit of doing this. And I think, obviously, he, he won that meat beef by a landslide, didn't it? It's so I think, yeah. obviously, that beef kind of gave him some full self-confidence that he can, you know, kind of mention... These seasoned MCs girls here, and there be no repercussions. Nah, like right. Push is a seasoned MC. Nah, right, Kent is a seasoned MC. Okay. You know what I'm trying to say? They're okay. built different. They're not Meek Mill. Okay. With all due respect. Okay. Do you see what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. Once Drake released Push Ups, he then went back to back with it and tried to sort of adopt the same approach that he did in the Meek Mill beef. Mm -hmm. 
He didn't even give Kendrick time to respond. Came straight back with Taylor made freestyle. trying to put pressure on k Do you yep. understand? Um, yep. Because he had been, I think, about two two weeks or so and, and, and we hadn't heard from Kendrick. So this is a way, this is a way of, of, of Drake trying to get ahead of the the, the, the beef and, and basically control it. Does that make sense? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was trying to control the narrative. I think just by his tone and his mannerisms, he felt, he felt confident. 100%, you know what I'm saying? 100%. He felt like, yeah, like, yeah, I've got him right where I want him. Like, you can just tell in it, you know, when you hear, when you hear him spit. At this moment in time, Drake felt that, like, he had, he had the upper hand. You know he felt like he was very clever and how yeah. he felt, uh, clever with the whole AI situation. Yeah. Bringing, bringing packing in. He thought, you know what? If I drop it like this and put a spin to it, I'm leading a race. It's interesting also because he has Snoop Dogg and Tupac essentially kind of bigging Kendrick up. Did you get me? It's the reverse psychology. Yeah. It's a reverse psychology. You know I, think, I think, yeah, they, like it, it's trying to give him a prep talk, innit? Yeah. Like, don't let this Latin Canadian nigga, like, you understand? But I'm like, like, well, shit I'm, on the West Coast. You yeah, know what I'm, I'm like, I'm like, would you put that in uh, this? I think, I think, do you know what it is? I, I, like, at first, I was like, do you know what? I haven't, I haven't heard this before. So this is, this is. Yeah. Um, it was clever. It was clever. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It was clever. But at the same time, it, it was kind of disrespectful. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you're using, you know, a man that's not here anymore. Do yeah. You know what I'm and say? did Snoop say anything about it at all? I don't know. I don't know. Like, like, I don't apparently, there was a. No, apparently, the, he released an Instagram video just laughing about just it. Just laughing, but yeah. you're not Snoop in it. Like, okay. He's yeah. like, oh, is this why people put me on AI now? Oh, man. That's yeah. Crazy. He mentioned, like, Drake liking young girls and stuff like that. You know what I mean? When he obviously was using the, the two pack AI. So. Basically, he was trying to take some ammunition or some heat off of himself. Do you know what I mean? It. Because it's just, it's a, it's the whole Eight Mile angle. We've yeah. all watched Eight Mile, right? That last battle when That's M was basically, you know, saying. What are you trying to do? You're trying to take all the ammunition all, away from yes, Taylor. Yes, yes, so yes. So then he's practically got nothing, nothing really to say in it. Do you know what I mean? It's clever. It's good. Tactics. It's clever. It's clever, um, or it appeared to be clever. It appeared to be. It appeared to be. Clever. At this point in time, I mean, we could all say that. Drake was kind of up in it. He was up. But but then again, Kendrick hadn't responded yet. That's so it, right. when, when I saw online and people were saying, oh, Drake's won, I was thinking, bro, Kendrick ain't even responded yet. Let this nigga respond before you crown Drake the winner, man. So yeah, obviously Drake was feeling really real good about himself in it, but that wasn't going to last long. Because as we know, bro, Kendrick, aka the certified boogeyman, was going to come out to play one way or another. I knew, now people were saying, oh yeah, like Kendrick... Kendrick's not gonna respond. He bro, was going to respond. He was always going. He was always going to respond in it. But you can't were, initiate and not respond. I mean, no. you can do it. Hell no. It's happened. Yeah. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't advise for anyone to do that. A couple weeks later, Kendrick drops Euphoria. Euphoria. 
okay, it was euphoria. I thought it was Meet the Graham. Yeah, 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 no, it was euphoria. euphoria. Kendrick yeah. drops euphoria. Yeah, and listen, the rest was history. Well, man, let's play it, man. Let's relive this moment still. Silence. The famous actor we once knew is looking paranoid and now spiraling. You moving just like a degenerate. Heavy antique is feeling distasteful. Why calculate you not as calculating? I can even predict your angle. Tommy Hilfiger stood out, but Fubo never had been your collection. I make music that electrifying. You make music that pacifying. I can double down. response to um Taylor made freestyle and um push ups. I'm smiling right now, but yeah, yeah, right because now. real hip hop man. Yeah, that's what <laughs> that's what's going on. Real life man. <laughs> Kendrick was just basically breaking breaking Drake down man, assassinating his character. Um mm. I love the way he kinda approached this record man, do you understand? Mm. It started off slow, you know what I'm saying? It started off slow but then Throughout the whole song, it's kind picked of up. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I think obviously this was the start of the beginning of the end. Uh, yeah, for Drake. Yeah, yeah for, for, for Drake. Even though up until this point, Drake, you know, released solid disc records. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. we have to give Drake his props, man. Kendrick entered his bag. Yeah. He, he became an artist. Yeah. You know where music is archery, not just yeah, yeah. being an artist, so called artist, but you're painting a picture. You're, exactly. You're dissecting what most people don't understand and hear and it's yeah. true do you know because Kendrick's a lyricist isn't a it? Lyricist. and you know it's so, someone said something the other day which I kind of agree with there's no bar that's wasted with Kendrick no bar. every yeah, yeah, bar yeah. means something even no if you bar. don't understand it at first yeah it means something so sometimes you have to go back or rap genius or Trust study the lyrics yeah, like, the ad, you like your is it to see if your fans can stomach that? stomach yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and, and then he wrote, wrote yeah. the uh, yeah. ab what's it called the ab surgery yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. BBL, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah even though it's six minutes long like it's just a full lyrical assassination bro yeah Do you know what I'm trying my to favorite say? line my favorite line line even though it, like it's the wine and melly line i think that was yes, my favorite yes, moment yes, man yeah but yeah no it's really interesting like the way he's just assassinating the way he's looking at his character and it's just it's mad it's it's crazy yeah but i'm also also so angry that that Pusha T already killed him. Do you get me? Cause, yeah. Because the way, because the way, because because the way Pusha T did it, and I, I I shouldn't be comparing, but the way Pusha T did it was just insane. Yeah. Because a lot of it's already by this time we already heard, we already know how much of a waste of course, money is in it. Of course. So, um, of course. But uh, yeah. again, Kendrick can, can Lamar does the right thing to highlight. Just. But I think well, the one well. thing, the one thing we didn't hear that Pusha didn't expose. Oh, so there's some new stuff in it. The young girl, like the the young, the young girl, girl angle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pusha T did not yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this was a very very strong. Do you understand? Response back to to Drake. Um, and I think at this point, people were swinging more in Kendrick's favor, in it. Yeah, you know, and um, and he referenced again about being signed to a nigga who signed to another nigga. Yeah, signed to another nigga. yeah. And I don't understand why Drake will say that. Know, my point yeah. exactly. We mentioned it. And like I said, well, it's so, it's we so, all can see the information. <laughs> yes, we all we all know why we all know why you went to a uh, Universal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and you're yeah. you're getting paid ridiculous amount of yeah. money. So it's like, why like, there's so that? many hidden messages and hidden like uh uh um rebuttals in this because even euphoria like even though the title apparently euphoria is a, a show that drake that is executive producer yeah, yeah, on yeah, HBO. yeah, yeah exactly yeah. and bro it's just so many fun so yeah. many. a lot of like deep layered and yeah. i think kendrick does that really well and i think the subsequent this is that you are going to play as well shows that as well man but again he's, and also one thing i like about this this is that he's very direct oh very very, very he's speaking direct. directly to drake he's mentioning multiple things that's gone through in his life 
Yeah. Also, him not being there for his son as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, correct. And obviously, and the whole, the whole like you're not black angle. Do you understand? Like basically trying to, trying to. <laughs> and claiming that he's the, he is the culture, which is actually like good, which is an interesting line mm. because we all, we live in a culture in which that the more you sell, the more you seen as the de facto. Of course, the best is. thing that that yeah. culture represent, yeah. and I always got. I'm always not happy about that. Do you get me? Because there's so there's wonderful artists that do not even sell remotely what Drake do, but I'm like they had a better album that year. 100%. Mm. But they don't get the same fanfare. There was a line in Euphoria mm. which made a lot of sense. Um, after this next this drop, uh, this track from um, Kendrick dropped, which was uh, six sixteen in LA. Which is obviously the timestamp reference to obviously Drake, because I think in your first said back to back I like that record. I'm gonna get back to that for the record. Yeah. Little did we know that he was referencing this next track because obviously he dropped it back to back. I think he literally dropped it the day after. Do you understand? Obviously adopting the same approach that Drake has done in the past. Do you know what I'm saying? Dropping back to back this record, not even letting your opponent breathe. Do you get what I mean? So obviously, yeah, Kendrick didn't waste no time. He dropped this next track called 16 6, 16 in LA. Yeah. I think this is one of the most underrated disses in the whole sort of like in the whole beef, the whole battle. This is one of the most underrated songs. Because Kendrick is playing now. He's playing that same way now. He's flipped it. See how Drake was playing on Taylor Made. Yes. Yeah. Now this is Kendrick's time to flex. Okay. You understand what I'm trying to say, bro? Like this, he again. This was strategic because I feel like at this point, yeah, he wanted to make Drake paranoid. It's like a bird playing with their prey. You know what I'm trying to say? Because obviously you heard what he said, like, oh, don't, um, have you, hasn't it crossed your mind, yeah, that over your m- might be working for me? Mm-hmm. Basically t- trying to say that there's a mole in you your know, camp. That's 100%. Ruffle some feathers. Was, was that actually, did, did, was it actually verified? Because remember there was a whole Twitter talk. Yeah, there was a whole Twitter, but I wouldn't be surprised because remember Pusha alluded to this as well. Like, yeah. You understand? That's why there's a lot of information coming yeah. out. Yeah. Drake, remember Drake was basically saying that he's the one that leaked the info. Some people are saying that Drake is saying that he's the one that leaked yeah, the information. Yeah, but nah, that's, that's cap, bro. That's cap, in it? It's cap, yeah. man. It's Drake trying to save face, innit? He's but trying, I really, to, he's trying was... to spin the narrative. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also, so everything on the cover is legit his stuff that someone actually yes. got. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. This was just a way of Kendrick trying to make Drake paranoid, trying to, trying to make Drake question people in this circle, innit? Oh, yeah. Do you understand yeah. what I'm trying to say? Like there was probably an intervention at OVO that night. Me, me, bro, it must have been. No, and even if, do you know this? Audit fam. Do you know this? Do you know Do you know this? And even if, yeah, Kendrick was chatting shit mm. that there wasn't a mole. Mm. Just the thought. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Just the thought. Yeah. Of there might be. Mm-hmm. So it, it kind of, it's a way of trying to uh, get Drake off his game. Yeah, and even, that, even the album cover is enough to yeah. see all those items. Like, to make him I, think, yeah. Where did you get all that stuff from? Exactly. Even the shirt as well, bro. Exactly, bro. Exactly. That's why Drake then dropped straight away. Exactly. And what was it, three hours later, four hours later? It was like a day later or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he dropped, he um, dropped, he dropped um, me, uh, the one with dropped, the video. He, yeah, the one with the video. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he dropped the one with the that video. That video is low-key dark as well, though. Yeah. yeah that video it, was, it was, it was, it was, it was. Yeah, yeah, you heard what Kendrick did in terms of like how Drake would try to put money in the streets. Yeah, to get dirt. To get dirt, but obviously he came back with no receipts. No receipts. And then obviously Kendrick's just saying, I'm sorry that I live a boring life. And it's funny because again, it goes back to the whole Pusha beef. I remember Pusha said that like, 
Drake had to pay people for certain information. Yeah. But it just didn't, you know, no one's there. Like, it came back, yeah, it materialised. So, I, I come to realise that a lot of the games that Drake has played before in certain beefs, he tried to kind of, instead of going with a fresh approach, he tried to, you know, but not every battle's the same, though. Right. Just no, but I can't everything. like, but I can't like, again, how, what can you do? Listen, if you're fighting A, someone who is insanely good, yeah. and then B, they got no dirt on them, what can you do? But that's the it's mistake that, I feel like Drake made, though, in this scene. Like, you know what? But, 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 from my perspective from Drake, if I was Drake, it's either you go to battle, you lose, or you say, I give up, and you lose. Yeah. I, 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 did not, I did not see him in any way, shape, or, or form winning. The only possibility of him possibly winning was the fact that Kendrick Lamar was not battle-tested. Yeah. So he might not actually do the right things. But he ended up doing the right, the right thing. Because again, he, Kendrick Lamar is a hip hop historian. 100%. He's looking at what happened in the past. 100%. What happened maybe against LA Cool J and them, yeah, man. Yeah, he's yeah, looking yeah, at that yeah, and he's yeah, thinking. Stuff, yeah. yeah, yeah, and a common beef. He's looking at Drake's past beef. It's so true. of course he's going to hit the right buttons. Of course. So I, cause that's why I can't bemoan much what Drake could have done. Okay, you, you can say that maybe not this his wife or maybe not do the thing but then then, I, then at one point it just come at my bars you gotta lose against bars as well bro but that's why he tried to hit with that angle because that yeah. you mentioned he didn't have much to go with so yeah. you have to hit that angle to if you're fighting bar for bar K dot got him all day long yeah. all day long every single day of the week so at the end of the day he was I wonder I want I think so then like then again you can also understand why he would try to pay someone to find dirt of course. Then, okay, of course. Can, so maybe, maybe, bro. Yeah, because maybe maybe he yeah. is squeaky clean for us, but maybe there is some because that's when the allegations about uh, apparently him hitting a fan in two thousand and fourteen. Yeah, he talked about Breakfast Club, but that apparently yeah, yeah, was yeah. not false. It was, it was not true. Well, and apparently him domestic violence with his wife as well. But came that out was not that, that. There was no evidence of that. So there's no evidence as well. So loads of allegations came out as well. You know, yeah. as a rebuttal, Drake came with Family Matters, which supposedly was his red button. I mean, Drake had been teasing that he was going to press this red button and this red button had bare stuff that was basically going to expose... And that was what we just discussed. Yeah, yeah exactly, just, exactly. Yeah. Like, he made it seem as if, obviously, that was going to be the... The old the, the tell Yeah, the, 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 the finisher. You know what I'm saying? Um, the so final reveal, fam. The final reveal. Um, basically, uh, the red button was meant to be his victory lap. Um, but, yeah, like... Uh, Obviously, it didn't turn out that way, but yeah, this is obviously family matters. Drake slid on that, bro. Mm. I can't lie. For yeah. me, he slid on that. Like, I don't want to admit it, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. He, is, he, he slid on that. I can't lie. Yeah. Like, when I heard this, I was kind of sweating a bit for K-Dot, innit? Because I was like, rah, like, 
Drake was rapping his ass off. Bro. Like, <laughs> I can't lie, bro. He had three, he had three different beats. Kind bro, of bro. Yeah, and he was going boring. for everybody. <laughs> everybody. And the video to go with it as well? And the video to go with crushing the gig, good kid, my city van. They love buying they love buying these objects and then just destroying them because this yeah. is the Pharrell thing as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, even in that video, it wasn't just a good kid Mad City van. If you actually study that video, there was a lot of things that he did in it. Oh, like him meeting with that hell's angel. Yeah, like all related. <laughs> like he's talking to each other, like put heads yeah, someone's head. Like, and and, and, and that, that adds on to another point that we talk about the Kendrick Lamar brought up, and I think we. We always have this discussion. He always act like a fake gangster, man. Trust yeah, me. Like, well, does he need to Trust do it, man? Yeah, Every single song acted like a man's body. Bro, but I like, that's like, what opens up so much for people to twist. And that's what you go, that's how you're gonna end up in jail, fam. Kevin said, I, said I, like Drake, like I like Drake with the melodies. I don't like Drake when he act tough. Do you right. understand? Above. It's like, Stop it's cool playing like a gangster, man. Yeah, Stop being a gangster, bro. Don't but this was a strong, strong, strong response, bro. He had to, though. He had to, had to come with it. He pulled out his camp. Yeah. They probably had an intervention. He jumped in the studio saying that. Music video boom. He yeah. said, "Go and find me the good kid, Mad City." Van. Yeah, Come but on, you man. know, at the same time, I felt like Drake gave everything they had into this record. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And even before anything, obviously stuff went on afterwards. But yeah. even I felt like, yo, Drake can't come harder than this. this I is- felt like he, he shot his bullets too Three early. Three different beats. Bro. Yeah, but and he, like yeah. I said, I had I had heard Drake rap that well in a, in long, a long time, time. bro. Like when the, when it, when it comes to s- s- straight to Drake, there's loads of allegations though. Like loads of allegations about what Kendrick uh, was it called uh, his son not being his. Uh, obviously the 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 hurt and the infidelity that Kendrick yeah, Lamar's caused yeah, with his yeah, wife. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm like, how much of that is sort of true? It yeah. almost come to the, it almost come to the point that his strategy at that point was like, you know what? If I ain't got shit, I'm making up. I'm making shit. up. <laughs> and I feel that's what Slally, <laughs> that's what slightly annoyed me a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think the only thing I'll say is yeah. The only thing I'll say is as well. It felt like Drake didn't have. Much more to say about Kendrick. That's why he exactly. then started to, started to, to make to, up to, lies and, and shit. And also go at um, ASAP Rocky, well. Rick Ross, the Jonathan, weekend as well. The weekend, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say? Route, Met a, yeah, because it's like, okay, this song was six minutes long. I don't have six minutes worth of this is for Kendrick. for Kendrick. So let me use it to also, you understand, That's go at other people to fill up the time. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Because at this point, what else can you say about Kendrick? Unless you have like a, a bomb. You understand? Or nuke, you know? You've already kind of used that nuke in your previous song in regards to, like, Kendrick hitting his girl and that. It's like, what else do you have to say, bro? So that's the only yeah. thing I'll say, but, bro... Yeah, that's But it. other than that, though, this was a strong... And I feel like if it was any other person, this would have been it. As in, he would have finished it. Yeah, man. I think no, so. No, 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 I agree. Honestly, bro. I agree. Honestly, I, I agree. think if this was any other person, bro... I just think... I just think this Drake, would have been, this would have been it. I just think Drake just got too much dirt, man. No, no, for sure, but I feel like because of the dirt that's really been thrown out and then how hard Drake came in. Yeah. Like said, we're not hearing Drake spit this hard. This is hard, bro. Time, bro. This is, this, honestly, on, bro, man. this track is hard, fam. And, and and if you don't say it's hard, then you're a hater, bro. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, oh, you know, yeah. even, even, you know, look at Patron, he's not, you know. I'm not a big Drake but fan. You but you have to give it up to him, bro. I have to give it to him. He came hard, he, he, bro. He came and up, for he me, came I remember soon. what I said, you know, no matter what I think about Drake, in terms of his disc records, bro, they are solid. He has a solid discography of this record, bro. <laughs> yeah. He has a, whether he, or not, obviously he's lost a couple battles now, yeah. But bro, just in terms of he comes hard, bro. You can never discount Drake, fam. Yeah. Obviously, we thought that yeah, man, it's looking kind of long for Kendrick, bro. Yeah. Within an hour. Nah, this is the hour. That's within an hour, the one hour, bro. Through. Kendrick responded, and and you know what Kendrick did, yeah? He totally literally took all of the heat off of this disc record fam by responding within an hour yeah. you understand he didn't let this disc record breathe mm-hmm. he clever. literally stomped on it clever. clever 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 because like i said any other any other person this would have been mm. yo this would have been victory lap this would have been a w it's like Kendrick parking was parking the bus on the pitch. Because yeah. He's buying that pressure. He's parked the bus straight away. And I feel, like Kendrick, I feel like Kendrick knew that. I can't let this... Because this record is hard. But that's, so that's I can't, some of the sonic Yes. And, and that knows the art of battle, fam. Correct. He said, you know what? This record is actually good. I can't let this breathe for long. Because if it breathes for long, it might be a bit techy for me. So within an hour, bro, Kendrick dropped me the Grahams. Yeah. Everybody was like, oh, shit. Yeah. Everybody was like, wow. Because we ain't never seen this before. No. Meet the great story added on part two, man. <laughs> basically, basically, basically.
Dear Adonis, I'm sorry that the man is your father, let me be honest. It takes a man to be a man, your dad is not responsive. I look at him and wish your grandpa would a world kind of. I'm sorry that you gotta grow up and then stand behind him like Dear Sandra, your son got some habits, I hope you don't undermine them. Especially with all the girls that's hurt inside his comment. You're a woman, so you know how it feels to be an alignment. What emotion, hoping a man can see you and not be blinded. Dear Dennis, you gave birth to a master manipulator. Even using you to prove who he is is a huge favor. He hates black women, hypersexualizing with kinks of a nympho fetish. Grow facial hair because he understood being a beard just fit him better. He can wait to anybody that embody the love for the kids. Keep the family away. They looking at you too if you're standing by him. Keep the family away. I'm looking to shoot through any pervert that lives. Keep the family safe. Dear baby girl, I'm sorry that your father not active inside your world. He don't commit to much but it's music, yeah that's for sure. Be a narcissist, misogynist, living inside his songs. Try to destroy families rather than taking care of his own. You lied about religious views. You lied about your surgery. You lied about your accent and your past tense. All this perjury. You lied about your ghostwriters. You lied about your crew members. They all pussy, you lied on them I know they all got you in them You lied about your son, you lied about your daughter, huh You lied about them other kids that's out there hoping that you come You lied about the only artist that can offer you some help Fuck a rap battle, this a long life battle with yourself A long life battle with yourself, bro That's paid up That's Meet the Grahams and bro, that is so incredibly dark, fam it, Kevin, you said it, I think, uh, a few moments ago This is like a story of added on part yeah, two, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand? He's definitely he's he's definitely taking that same approach, the same angle. Yeah. And also, I think Drake is like the only rapper in a beef as of recently that he gets psycho and 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 analyzed. It's true, like, bro. Bro, like, like, his, like, bro like, his parents get brought in first. Bro, bro, it goes deep. <laughs> It goes it's like, deep. It's like, let me sit you down, nigga. Let me bro, tell you, you it understand. goes deep, bro. Let me no, sit you down. And no, let me normally, it's like, at, it's at just at the face value or the dumb shit they've done. But now we have to go back how much he, the, the, mom, the mom is a waste man for allowing this to happen. The dad is a waste man. Yes. Bro, I don't took know how he takes it. To it. Took it to his son. son like and then bring it at the door. door. How? Bro, how much can he deal with that, this bro? Was, when this, this was very shocking because, obviously, you know, like... The, the mum angle, the dad angle, cool, in it? Like, that is it's hella disrespectful, in it? And obviously, talking to Adonis as well, just just outright, just disgusting, filthy. But then, obviously, the most shocking part of this was yeah. allegedly Drake having another child, i.e. a daughter. Like, bro, I can't... Honestly, when I heard this, I was like, nah, Drake, you, you can't have been that stupid yet to make that same mistake again, bro. Hiding another child, bro, from the world, and... From what Kendrick was saying, the, the child was eleven, so it's even older, older than Adonis, fam. Um, Do you might think it's true? Do you think? But it's true? with Adonis, he was hidden for a little bit, wasn't he, until it came out? Yeah. yeah. Do you think it's true? Yeah. Um, so, I, I, I don't we know. don't know, innit? I, I, I don't know. Like, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Ken, but Kendrick, I don't know if it's true. One thing I need to say is Kendrick, Kendrick, Kendrick needs shit. to prove. Yeah, he needs to. This needs to be proven. But again, he doesn't chat shit, though, does he? But no, he but still needs to prove it. Though. Yeah, I understand. Prove it, bro. Like, we've got to keep the same energy. Like, we've got to keep the same energy. Like. Kendrick needs to prove this. But, 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 but point is, I don't think Kendrick has uh, say something that's outrageously, blatantly like a lie or a uh, lie. But he yeah, could have done bad was, intel. Yeah, it was assassinating his character more. Yeah, so. he was speaking about yeah. Steph Curry and LeBron James to keep this family keep, away. Keep from the family away. That's yeah, his associates in a sense. So we're waiting, see, we're waiting, seeing that. We're, we're waiting, see how true this is. We're waiting, see. It's a very dark, very like man's always getting shot. It's basically therapy. Basically. No? Just trying to sun him in it, and it was deeper than you thought. Yeah, it was trying to, break, literally trying to break him down. It's break him so, down. It's all about this, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, <laughs> mentality, bro. Mentality, bro. mentality, 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 bro. mentality. It's all about the mentality, bro. <laughs> you know what? I I give credit to Drake to be able to still, because for me, if someone wrote to me like a song like Story of Added On yeah. and a story, story like Meet the Grahams, yeah, it's a beef thing. It's, like yeah. it's a physical <laughs> thing. Because it well, with the level of especially the Story Added On, we never talked about it. But the level of disrespect. And then this one, now he's bringing in the mumsy and then dadsy. You don't know the dynamic. Do you get me? Like, I will feel stuff away, fam. But then again, maybe we cut from different cloth. But then, how, you see, but then the, maybe the best way is to respond, like Drake, is to respond. And it should be like, you know what? But, I, I, I'm, not gonna, I'm not hearing it. But K Dot's hit him in so many different angles. Yeah. His race card, his yeah. black card. Yeah. His fake gangsterism. His fake gangsterism. Yeah, he's, 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 he's sexual, sexual. Like, deviances. There's so many angles he's hit him with. So many it's, angles, bro. 
the tactics, the, the mentality is unreal from him, man. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. So yeah. I understand what you're saying, why you should stop throwing hands. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah. Stop, <laughs> stop swinging, you start swinging, you're swinging, bro. Yeah. <laughs> swinging, bro. Yeah. Yeah. After this, I can't lie, like, I, I, I thought, you know, I think many people thought, okay, cool, now it's Kendrick. It's, 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 it's Kendrick's battle to lose now, isn't it? Yeah. Um, because obviously the allegations were, were very, you to understand, they were very Extraordinary, deep. strong. Yeah, and just when we thought, okay, cool, let let us wait for Drake to respond. Kendrick decided... I like this one as well, to be fair. ...that he wanted to dance on this man's grave. Yeah, this one, this one's catchy. Still. Yeah, th- this one is an absolute banger. This is... Like, one thing, I give to Ke- one thing I give to Kendrick, he's literally... An artist, bro. His artist, he's... In this beef, yeah, bro, he's giving you... He's giving you a a, a, a a more dark record, do you understand? <laughs> he's giving you a, a soulful record, do you understand? And now he's giving us a record that we can all dance to, bro. Like, without oh, further man. ado, man, this is not like us. Listen. The memes when they say Drake's in the club getting away from all this nonsense and they stop playing this. Fam, this is a, the, this is the record of the summer so far. We've all seen that this record has now I'm gone to number up, one on Billboard. One official now. Official now. It's mm. broken so many records on Spotify, so many records that Drake held previously. Yep. Can you imagine how ironic is that, bro? Yep. Do you understand? Yep. I think the fastest song to reach 100 million streams, I think he reached it in nine days, surpassing one of Drake's tracks. Um, <laughs> like, bro, like, it's, it's, it's just absolutely broken records. And think about it, bro. This is a record of basically Kendrick calling Drake a pedophile. A pedophile. A pedophile. Even the album cover, That's do you understand? It. It's a picture yeah. of Drake's home. You know what I mean? Lots of red offended. dots on it. Yeah. And obviously that is basically symbolises, you know... Sex offenders. Sex offenders. When, it's, you know, when, when you're near, like, a sex offender's <laughs> home, obviously, you know... They have like red dots to show that they're <laughs> you know, that bro. Mad still. And I feel like after this dropped, there was no coming back. Yeah. There was no coming That's back. That's what I thought as well. I thought no matter was. what Drake would have said or did, it's, it's difficult. it was done. It was done. It's one thing calling, you know, uh, uh, somebody uh, uh, a flipping, uh, a womanizer or a colonizer or what, but to call him a, pe- a pedophile. Yeah. Like, bro, people die over that shit. Do you yep. understand? They die over that shit. And that, yeah, is one of the things that can make your reputation just absolutely go down the toilet. And the thing is, it was a back-to-back drop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it dropped in one sense. And exactly. Therapy, and you've come to dance and you're talking about paedophilia. And, all and, and this is a song that's going to be in the clubs. Oh. Same, same. And do you know what? It's, it's, it's deja vu because remember back in 2016, back-to-back, you understand? That record. Yeah, that was uh, kind of... Yeah, and that was played in the clubs. I remember all that summer, bro, like, everyone was playing that. Fast forward, seven, eight years later. Look where we are now. Look at how the tables have turned. Fun On social is. media, bro, like, everybody's just dancing to this, you know, stand their way. Like, and it's, it's bare catchy as well, catchy. do you see what I'm saying? It's like he's beating Drake to his own... Um, and his own, he's beating his own Drake game. at his own game. 
He's beaten Drake. And then again, you can't. Again, Kendrick Lamar makes hits as well. Like sometimes I feel like Drake is just taking taking him too, like a small boy. The guy's not a small boy. And I feel like (laughs) I feel like throughout throughout all this battle, yeah, Drake has underestimated Kendrick. He tried to sun him. He tried to sun him, bro. He really did. But this is a different type of nigga. Different. Do you see what I'm trying to say? You know what it is? I feel like Drake might be so shallow where he only looks at the numbers and he and he and that validates himself. Yes. Rather than looking at you know what that the type of music and when what that music is about that Kendrick is making and also if he was smarter he would understand that Kendrick if Kendrick wanted to do the same thing that Drake is doing in terms of the, how much music he's releasing the type of music he's releasing I think Kendrick Lamar would have been as equally or close to successful as Drake because he is also good at making club bangers he's made it's plenty true. of them it's true. like he just he's just not as active that's it's the only that's difference yeah, he, well. he and he can't probably melodize and sing maybe he can learn to be as good as Drake in terms of that small way, not not yeah. not not full on blonde army. Yeah, yeah, but, I get you. I get but you. it's a small portion way. I get you. It was just the fight, like I said, the final nail in the coffin, man. <laughs> and um, you know, like it, this was like a West Coast anthem as well. Oh, like, proper man. West Coast. I don't think I've ever heard. You know, they'll be crit walking to this. Yeah, crit walking. They were already oh, crit walking to it, bro. Like yeah. so, you know, he chose like a West Coast anthem. It was interesting because he could have gone different groups. He, he could have gone, gone drill. Yeah, he could but have gone but, like, but he stayed authentic because yeah, he's from yeah, the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? saying. He's, and he's, he's mentioned about culture vultures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's interesting because yeah, because again, DJ Mustard and this type of beat has not been in like Billboard. Yeah, yeah, a long time. Because this is this is funny enough. This is Mustard's first number one. Oh, is it? Yeah, you like. Do you know, remember, had no, 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 bro, like, no, bro. Was, remember was. how prominent Mustard must yeah. was, you know, in, in, in the early 2010s? This was Mustard's So it's very intentional one. to ask Mustard to. 100%. To be, to, yeah. And now, so after Not Like Us, you know, obviously people were still grooving to it. And then uh, Drake uh, predictably came back with a response. And this time, obviously, um, similar to what Kendrick did with. with with Drake and the timestamps, Kendrick came back with something that, you know, Kendrick is synonymous for, yeah. with the Heart series, and obviously Tao did the Heart Part 6, um, and this, this, was, this was his response. Surprise winner is definitely spiraling, I got your fucking lines tapped, I swear that I'm dialed in, first I was a rat, so where's the proof of the trial then? So you're already lying, bro. But I can't lie. Listen again. It was a good diss record from Drake, but for me, yeah, he knew. He knew it was done. Yeah, and you can just hear it in his voice. He yeah. doesn't sound as confident. No, no, no. Like, you understand that like, all yeah. of that gibbering and jabbering you were doing at the end of the track, like what's that about, bro? He knew. He knew. Like Drake, yeah. Like especially for the first couple records that he released, you can tell that he was on the offensive. Yes. But this is him on the defense, defense. now. 
You know what I'm saying? Trying to get a consolation goal. Basically. He sounded defeated, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he sounded <laughs> defeated, bro. He did answer a lot of the um, yeah, stuff that Kendrick put forward, yeah, isn't it? But, but, but again, it but again you know, like, this whole, I fed you information and, yeah. you know, we, we, we lied and we said you what. Before, well, that was not, yeah, that was yeah, again, that's now been proven not to be the truth, innit? Why understand? would you feed him information? Exactly. Especially about him taking a zip, it doesn't Exactly, make it doesn't make any sense. But again, it's Jake's way of trying to manipulate the situation and trying to... Make it seem him. like he's on top, innit? Yeah, basically, because he knows that, like, yo, like, I'm, I'm on my last legs here. Do you get what I'm saying? So it was a way of him trying to spin the narrative. Yeah. You know, and this is what Kendrick alluded to, like, you know, I think in um, Euphoria, or one of the tracks, in, in terms of, like, um, like I can't, I can't remember the exact line, but basically he's trying to say that Drake is a master manipulator. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, and because he's on the back foot now, he, he needs to try and do anything to kind of flip the script. Yeah. <laughs> I think in the track as well, but he's trying to say that Kendrick was getting his information off of Twitter and stuff, like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, which is coming. Like, Kendrick's too way too smart for that, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And then I think also one line that was very controversial, one line that made, I think, a lot of people kind of can see that Drake lost was the whole, if I was a child molester, I wouldn't have been be arrested. arrested right now. I mean, what kind of... Like, make bro, it make sense, please. Make it make sense, please. Come on, man. How long did it take for Harvey Weinstein to be arrested? Come on. How long did it take for R. Kelly to be arrested, bro? Do you understand? Just because, yeah, just because, you, you know, you've committed a crime doesn't mean... That you, you know, you always yeah, get sent to And I just feel cool. like from from there, like, it, it, yeah, like, it just went all downhill for Drake, innit? And I feel like for a lot of people, that was the, the nail in the coffin, innit? Um, How do you feel at the uh, OVO? What do you think that the vibe was in the OVO camp? Bro, I, do you know, it's, 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 it's a good question. I, obviously, Drake's their man, innit? So they're going to gas him up in it. And 100%. Say, because, you know, at, at the, at, towards the end of the, the track, Drake's saying, listen, like, like, come with the facts in it, you understand? Uh, like, I've come with the facts, so I'm waiting for you to, to come with the facts. Yeah, so, with the probably facts. their head is like, yo, Drake, you won because, yeah, like, you know, Kendrick's still yet to, to, to come with any proof. Um, and he's also, and he also hasn't addressed, you know, some of the stuff I've accused him of. So it's like, yeah, Drake, like, you won, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. In reality, like, there was there was lying on both parts or, or fabrication on both parts in it. But then, when it comes to, like, Drake's, you know, um, um, the stuff that Kendrick was uh, accusing Drake of in terms of being a paedophile and all of that stuff, yeah. Like, there's been things online that have kind of, you Alluded. know... Yeah, well, not, yeah like I mean, footage of Drake, you know, speaking to young girls or kissing young like girls. Like, inappropriate, and, like, inappropriate, yeah. inappropriate. I, I think the only thing that hasn't obviously been proven yet on Drake's side, on, on Kendrick's side, is the... Um, 11-year-old. The, the 11-year-old. Then yeah. Also, Kendrick still needs to come with those receipts, but everything else, yeah, there's some level of example. But exactly. with Drake... Where's the example of uh, of 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 Kendrick beating Whitney? Okay. Like, there's no there's no video. There's no no one has come in, come out and said that. Or well, beating I mean? that fan, isn't it? I think yeah, that's another idea, there was there it? was a guy like, but Kendrick has there was the, put the, that yeah there was not enough evidence in the breakfast club interview in 2014. He already kind of squashed those rumors. So you've listened to all the diss tracks, man, and I think we can unanimously say that. Yep. There was only one winner, and uh, yep. that that winner was Mr. Kung Fu Kenny. Yep. Do you understand? You shout out to Drake as well, man, because he I gave know, yeah, a good battle. Sure. battle. Like, let's be real in it now. Give him his flowers for sure. Man. You have to give him his flowers in it. Like he didn't run away from the. And think about it as well. Like he he was also up against like a very seasoned seasoned twenty different artists. <laughs> like he said, it wasn't really twenty different artists, but yeah, like he had to. It was fighting. It was fighting the whole industry. Basically, <laughs> yeah. fighting the whole industry. He was fighting his hit makers, fam. Yeah, but one one thing I give Drake is the fact that Drake never backs down. You understand? He's always up for the the squabble. You know. Um, no, that is true. That is true. That's yes, a big, yes. big respect. And respect, he's he, and again like just his discography of disc records. They've been good, man. You understand? It's just unfortunate that he's come up against. To the greatest MCs of all time. Just listen, uh, that's it, man, guys. You know, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Obviously, we'd love to hear what you guys think, man. Please share your opinions with us. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You already know. And yeah, man, we'll be back again real soon with another video. But until then, we're out. Stay blessed, guys. Peace, yes, man. Peace. peace. peace.